All right, and welcome back. You're still watching a news center. Today we talk about Azimio protest as uh, they enter the second week, and the IG has termed this protest illegal, while um, the Azimio team says that we will continue to protest because it's not illegal. Um, the government says that um, these protests are illegal. We are not able to provide evidence of um, what maybe the government is uh, claiming that um, the Azimio is trying to pay uh, young people to cause mayhem uh, unless we do that but um, can the government probably can the police allow the protesters we've seen protests uh, in South Africa for, for instance there was no police presence um, I know you mentioned that um, Raila Odinga has a history uh, but can the police allow the protesters because last week from what we saw they were not even allowed to gather or even um, address any any crowd can they get a chance to protest, probably? Uh, in a civil society, mm -hmm. demonstrations happen. Yeah. But they are very organized. They are very organized and, and well-planned. an organized demonstration? And uh, organized demonstrations mm -hmm. is where real issues are handled. Where the, demonstra the demonstrator or the organizers of the demonstrations have real issues and issues that can be sorted out. Mm -hmm. Uh, from this one and I want to stay still yes. with you um, uh, we know the issues that the Azimio uh, is fronting we have the servers opened the high cost of living um, the subsidies uh, for instance be reinstated and again the high cost of living yes. be addressed what do you term from those issues probably what would you say that this one cannot be solved what is realistic what is not realistic uh, yeah. what is what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, is that the organizers of these uh, demonstrations mm -hmm. are not honest. They are not uh, telling us the plain truth of what is really disturbing them. But we know what is disturbing them. And they have not moved on from what transpired on 9th of August 2022. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why all of this chaos, that's the reason of demonstrations, that's the reason of stoning and boycotting businesses in this country Chege. and uh, okay, before, let, I finish, let finish. before i finish yeah. mm, yes this cost of living did not start the other day when kenya kwanza was in government i remember very well last year there's a time when the deputy president then now the president even went on and told uh, the, uh, his, his uh, president that stop planning on how to stop me plan on how to reduce the cost of living. At then, the people who defended the government was Raila Molo Odinga and Martha Karua. And in, if you check your records, uh, news record, you will realize there was a time in this country last year, Martha Karua and Raila Molo Odinga defended this government when the cost of unga was 230 shillings, when the cost of five liters of oil was 2,000 shillings, when the cost of fuel was going high. The president introduced a subsidy? And president I'm telling Uhuru? you, yes. The yes. president Uhuru mm -hmm. introduced what we call subsidies. Yes. These subsidies were going directly to the millers to produce flour at a lower cost. What we ended up having, we were spending 8 billion Kenyan shillings to pay millers every month. But you see if you can't let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Right yes. Please allow me to finish. Mm -hmm. If you can collect eight, uh, eight billion Kenyan shillings every month, up to now, we we should. It's supposed to be around fifty-seven or fifty-eight billion shillings. That fifty-eight billion shilling to us as Kenya Kwanza, we have done like we have decided. We are going to reduce the cost of input, the cost of production for farmers. So that at the end of the day, if they produce food, it will be at a lower cost and the prices will go down. Mm -hmm. there, are two, there are two arguments here. One, that Raila Molo Dinga and, uh, and uh, Azimio are trying to tell us about mandamano nomics. So let's talk about Where, the cost of living. Let's yes. not talk about yeah. mandamano, the yes. subsidy. Uh, so, so we were spending a lot yes. on the subsidy. So again, um, what we, Kenyans are concerned right now is how much they are paying. Yeah. What, Let's say the president, are, President Ruto tried to do away with that uh, scandal that he said it yeah. was a potential uh, scandal. But again, where is this money? Because Kenyans are again paying a lot. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to answer that yes. this way. 
we, uh, where is this money? Mm -hmm. This money, this is how Kenya Kwanza has used. As we speak now, five million farmers have access to cheaper, relatively cheaper fertilizer. At the time when we were paying millers eight billion Kenya shillings for low uh, price of unga, one bag of fertilizer was 6,000. Currently, as we are speaking, one bag of fertilizer is 3,500. As we are speaking now, 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 the second lot of top dressing fertilizer is coming, is on its way. Farmers now are being encouraged to go and plant. As we are speaking now, this government has provided enterprise fund that around 10 million Kenyans have accessed as we speak now. Mm -hmm. But remember, Kenyans are still sleeping now, hungry as we speak. As we speak? Yes. Even if you tell me that we are going to spend 8 billion, we are going to spend 8 billion to an organized cartel for a low cost of unga. But now as we speak, unga, we have not paid the subsidies, but the price of unga has right. dropped to right. 179 Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. As compared to them, which was one, which okay. was two hundred and thirty. Okay, all right. Oh, just hold your thought. Then um, there's something before we went for break. Uh, please, uh, please, about... uh, please. Time is not on our side. I also want to welcome uh, his thoughts. But uh, just before you comment on.